and I got it from the indie publisher himself. So I'm like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to yeah, help the, you yeah, out. Let's help the indie guys you out. Have, you yeah. have the direct opportunity to do that at yes, Gen Con. You can absolutely. help the indie game publisher out. And they're going to have a big indie game, like, aisle again yep. this year cool. it's going to be a lot of independently produced things and a lot of things you probably will see or have seen on kickstarter you might actually see and you'll see a person. lot of kickstarters launched yes uh, kickstarter that i backed machine of death the guy who created that and uh was editor of the books he's gonna be there yeah mm. and that was actually the main selling point on me going because you guys have been talking about this for a year and i'm like go get your stuff signed uh, yeah. And then uh, he's going to be there, and then one of my other favorite webcomic artists is going to be there. I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> we're going to get there, and we're not going to see Shannon at the end nope. of the time. Nope. Yeah. She'll disappear. Uh, and you brought up something that uh, that I wanted to kind of talk about. Almost everybody there that's you know working a booth or things like that are in the industry. And you know, like you can go to Green Ronin. And have Steve Kinson sign your book. You can you know. go have Steve Kinson tell you that you're playing wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when Steve Kinson's sitting up there with his name tag on backwards, so you don't know you're talking to Steve Kinson. That's my favorite Mark Gen Con story. <laughs> Other than when he totally missed Q Workshop last year. <laughs> yeah. How do you miss that? So, but probably not, because I was looking for it. Not, if I had to be looking for it. I'd it run was right, right next to Doctor Who. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not just game designers, but artists. Lots of you know, uh, something uh, another Kickstarter that was very successful that uh, this past year was Larry Elmore did a book a, is doing a beautiful book of like a, a collection of his artwork and is trying to get it out to everyone before Gen Con. Me being one of them, I would love to have Larry Elmore sign a picture for me. Sure, you know, in the book, I, I, I think that would be awesome. And you can do that, and they they are more than happy to do things like that. You know, so any artists you know about or game designers, whatnot, you know, you can sit there and talk to them. We talked to, uh, I'm going to mispronounce his last name. I know it. Steve Segedy, who was one of the designers of uh, Fiasco. Yep. We, we talked to him for quite a while about, cool. yeah, about the game and how much we really liked it and things like that. You know, so you can, you can give these people direct feedback on some of the things you really like. Because now, these people, they are just like us. Oh, absolutely. You know, they're, they're, they're living the dream, Mike. They're living the dream, living Mike. The- could be you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, uh, what, what do you, is there anything that you're preparing for this year, Mr. Miguel? I always uh, look forward to the art. Uh, Shan, uh, I'm glad to see uh, Shannon's interested in seeing some authors and artists because that's probably the main reason I go is to see authors and artists. Yeah. Uh, and so far, nobody will tell me where so, Aria Salvatore is. <laughs> so, uh, Mike, me and you are going to hang out the whole weekend and ev- no one else is going to see us. <laughs> I never see Mike. I yeah. never. Well, it's, it, he's either in the artist area or at the Ram Brewery. Yeah, I hope you like the If yeah. you want to drink, Mike sounds like if I come, I'll be hanging out, out with, with you there. We want to meet. Yeah. He's doing it. He never says anything. <laughs> Eric brings up by Ram. <laughs> That that makes me think of something. So last year we kind of started what's going to become a tradition is uh, we had reservations at a nice restaurant. People overlook reservations, I think, because right. everything yeah. is always packed. Yes. I mean, plan yeah. ahead and make reservations at least that's one a night. Good, that's a very good idea. That's a very we good do that? Idea. Yes, we did do that this year. Yes, yes we did. All right. But yes, have somebody making reservations at a nice hotel or a nice uh, restaurant, I should say. Which it was double packed anyway because they had that race that weekend too. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. That's there, true. There's yeah. always something the brickyard. Else, yeah, there's always something else going on in Indy the oh. weekend of Gen Con. Yeah, it's either a preseason game for the Colts or a race or I don't know who want to go see the Colts. <laughs> hey now, hey now, Mike says. <laughs> Will Wheaton will not be at Gen Con. I just that's what I was looking up on my uh, phone. He was there. He was there last year. Was it last year? Or year yeah. before? Are we going to do the T-shirt uh, thing again? Both of them, but I'm not I don't sure. think so. No, I think uh, we're a little light in the wallet this year. Oh, that's fine. But uh, hey, that was something. Dave's that- making a T-shirt for me to wear at Gen Con. Oh dear God. <laughs> oh. Hmm? Dave is the only one who likes my crap to be a Merkin shirt idea. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I, I won't put my name on it, but you know, I, I will take uh, any residuals that you make from selling it. <laughs> Pride. I wonder if we ever will see one of our T-shirts at the con. Would you know what really would be great cool. is if uh, Pizza de Tito still has his hanging on the wall. That would be number two. <laughs> but if uh, uh, Mr. Forgotten Realms, Ed Greenwood, Ed if Greenwood. he wore our shirt oh, next year, we'll see. Would be awesome. That would be amazing. But uh, something else that that I that I'm looking forward to this year is meeting some people that we've only had interaction with online. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we've never um, we've been going to Gen Con for years and years and only since the show did we ever really kind of put ourselves out there. Sure. You know, of course the first year, I mean, nobody knew who we were and I don't right. I'm not expecting a whole bunch of people to know who we are when we go right. this time, but 
it still would be nice to meet some of these people sure. that you know you you talk to on Twitter. Well, or, my, Mike has been doing this for a while, so this would be like bullet point like nineteen is right. schedule meetups. With That's your why I people. spend a lot of time at the Ram. Yeah, you have to have some place that people can find you at. You know, because the con is huge. Yes, you, know, you could wander Absolutely. around. Yeah, for but days the, and the Ram isn't you know. a place either. Because I remember we went looking for Mike that day. We walked. <laughs> we walked around like three times in there. Sean, Sean, it's because he was ditching us. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we got near him, Mike's all ducking the Ram, under the table for his internet friends. I was, I was right. in the VIP room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was yeah, because I think we finally gave up was heading out, and all of a sudden I hear, "Hey, over here!" We look and like, "Well, we walked by the table three times." Yeah, it's a full table, so yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a chance to meet. It's a good gathering place for for the people that you meet online. And something I am going to throw out there is, uh, you know, if you if you like our show, for even if not even really like it, just kind of it's okay, um, <laughs> and want to you know meet up. Just let us know, because sure. we'd be more than happy to you know meet up with anybody who listens. And Dan's you know, card is open. Yeah. I think uh, I think uh, Matt Fuller and I have a smoking date. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Whoa. Another thing that uh, you know, a lot of people, a lot of concerns that people have are travel arrangements. I was going to ask, what is so? Last year we rented a big van. Yes, it, it was a, fun. It cost a ton of money, but, and but we, it was fun. But do we think was that the right way to do it? We've done it in different ways before, where we've driven separately. We've you know driven all in the same vehicle that somebody brought, you know, somebody's van or something like that. I enjoyed riding in the same vehicle because it felt more like we were going as a group and not going the same place individually. It felt like Euro trip. Uh, what was it? Was it two cons ago, Eric, where uh, you were there with your family and I was the only other one that went? Yes. And, yeah, and I ended up paying for a nice hotel that ended up not being that nice. <laughs> <laughs> Which, well, that's, that's always the risk but you take. I drove myself. So even though my air conditioner broke about 20 minutes outside of where I live, I got to smoke in the car, I and say, I got there really fast. Well, Mark always wants to uh, <laughs> Mark yeah. always wants Remember, though, to drive himself. Remember, though, we actually had the van for the entire weekend, too, yeah, and we was, had to find a parking spot for yeah, it, which was, was a pain. We didn't realize that just around the corner was the same company. We yeah. could have got it one way, took it there, and dropped it off. And then reserve it for the trip. We home. want this van for the trip. You, can reser- you could reserve it. You know, right. you know, months ahead of time. Yeah. So you just drive it. You you. I wonder if that's a better plan though, because then you wouldn't have to pay for yeah. parking exactly. and none of that. Exactly. So, yeah, I think so. We're gonna have something to look. Parking into. that boat was a list, yeah. pain. Yes. Yeah, I drove around for at least an hour that yeah, day. Yeah. Because I yes. kept thinking, man, I'm glad I didn't drive that. Day. So yeah, if you're <laughs> driving a big vehicle, finding a place to park is an issue. Yeah, parking's not good. Fortunate we are fortunate to live nearby. Yeah, we're only three hour, three four hours away. I was in right, that exactly. hallway yeah, no kidding. last year, you know, waiting to get in, mm-hmm. and they had some Gen Con guy up on this big pedestal, and he was talking to everybody, and he started a little thing saying, who's first year at Gen Con? Yeah. So many people raised their hand, and then everybody applauded, you know. Then he went all the way through the whole Gen Con. I don't even remember how many Gen Cons have been now. 30-something. Well, yeah, like 32. one guy yep. in the crowd had never missed one. He'd been to every single one of them. The guy. Uh, and, and that dude had never been And <laughs> he had bought his own badge, no every press year, badge or nothing. And the guy said, well, hey, come up here. And he came up front to that where he was. The guy paid for his badge. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that was pretty so, cool. It was pretty neat. But uh, out of that, what, thousands of people that were there, thousands. that one like guy, 000. and the, you know, that wasn't everybody that was there, but sure. it was just who was in that little area where I was. All, that, all the people, he was the only person that's been to everyone. When you're talking about Gen Con, you're talking about, it, uh, you know, 35, 40,000 people who all really like the same thing. And that's, that's really what's important is you have, you find all these kindred spirits in crazy costumes. In crazy costumes. Love you know, them. You go you for know. the spectacle of it. I'm a mm-hmm. people watcher, you know, people, just love it. Uh, yeah, you can sit around and watch people all day. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. also a great place if you're a people smeller. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's <laughs> true, too. And you'll hear comments of people commenting on how bad uh, people smell. It's gotten better. It's gotten yeah, it's a gotten lot better. better. I think I think the uh, gamer culture in general is, I think, a little bit more self-aware and is starting to take care of itself a little bit right, better. Right, exactly. Which kind of, this whole smell reminded me, one thing I make a point to do and Sean learned last year is you pack light, take a small bag. Yes. Pack light. Because you, you you have this... Uh, every day this, of Gen Con is a swamp ass advisory. Yeah. Generally. Right. right. So, yeah. So, in the van, Sean had, like, Sean, the littlest guy, had the biggest bag by, like, five <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just never know. You know. No, no, I do know. I have another good point. Okay. Okay. And uh, this one, uh, Mark actually reminded me of, you need good walking shoes. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes, because you will be on your feet for a long Every, time. For three is, days. Yeah, everything is very far away from yes, everything. Uh, I, uh, on 
two occasions in my life I have gone to cons where the second day of the con, my shoe broke. You and, were grumpy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that first day at Pati- uh, Tito's, yeah. he was sitting there just pouring yeah. sweat. We were all was like, I think Mark's going to die his first <laughs> day. Yeah. Flat tire will do that to you. Yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, so, so that's two cons where I've had to go and buy shoes. So then I've got the rest of the con to deal with shoes that ain't broke in. <laughs> uh, I wore but this, this year, I, I planned ahead. I got my new shoes three weeks ago. And they're going to be nice and broke in by the time the cop happens. Or they'll be broke. Did you buy a or second pair? Broke. A uh, second pair to Don't ba- jinx me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's too late. I'm, but, I'm uh, fucked now. <laughs> so, Shannon, Shannon, Dave, are you sold yet? Are we, so, are we selling you? You're, se- you're selling me. I just got to make it work in my schedule. If I can make it work in my schedule, I will be there. Well, yeah. just think, it would say, be really nice if we didn't have to bring a black bag this year. It would be so nice. <laughs> and there's one less bag to pack. Right. <laughs> just think, the booth babes. Oh, my That's God. True. That That's true. There are booth babes. That's true. Hey, wait. Oh, we, that totally sells me. Well, there, oh, are, wait. <laughs> there are booths with women, and you occasionally say boobs? Oh, boobs. they may be babes. Yeah. <laughs> They're not all booth babes. Well, there's a lot, but uh, there's also not just there's not just you know the the event hall and and you know games. There's also a lot of seminars, a lot of uh, workshops, things like that. There's all kinds of like for writers, um, writers workshops. There's something I discovered last year. I, I didn't actually discover it. I just I mean I'm, I'm sure it's been there. Told me about it, but I just the dice booth it was <laughs> shut up. The game library. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The board game library. Right. And um, I, I, we, I I I met our friend Rudy. And his family, and they were in the game library. I was like, "What the hell's going on in here? Big room full of games. You walk up. If you've got a ticket for the game library, you pick out a game. You sit down. You play. Check out any game. It's like a dollar, isn't it? Yeah, it's It's not much. Cheap. Yeah, Yeah. and you can just you know say, "Hey, I want to play Shogun." Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got that. There was I read, and this has been a while ago. uh, Somebody basically they they kind of did a makeshift pickup Monopoly tournament in the (laughs) pickup game or in the uh, in the game library. Oh wow. So that brings me to, uh, I'll wrap it up. This is my last Gen Con primer point is you have to, if you want to get into a game, you have to camp out for it. Whenever, like when noon hits on Oh, you're talking Sunday, about yeah, event registration. For event mm-hmm. registration, yes. you have to camp out for it. Yes. I mean, you have to plan. You have to plan to be free. Otherwise, you're yeah. not going to get in. Whatever. Anything. It's like noon, like local time for yeah. Gen Con. So, I have yet to ever get in any specific game that I want because I'm never available. Right. And to, you, but the list is out there now. You can go out there now and look and see what's available. And if you, you know, you have to write down the game number because um, at least the last time I, I was able to do this, you have to plug in the numbers of the games that you want and then you click the button and you got to wait. And it'll, you're like number 1,000 something in line. And then when it finally goes through, it'll let you know if you got yeah, a ticket like to that. Waiting to see if you hit the lotto. Didn't yeah. you say there was some way to do it like as a group? You can register, like, if everybody... You can, uh, you can friend people. Right, and, right. Like, if you and I were friended, I could purchase tickets for you. Right. Yes, gotcha. So yeah, right so, now, I'm friends with Greg and Mike, Eric, and Woodside. Greg's, I think Greg's a good, <laughs> I think Greg's a good right. guy to be friends with on this. Yes, Greg well, is always a good friend. I never figured out how to do that. Because I was going to do that last year, and Jason kept harping on me to hurry up and friend him. Friend him. I, I'm right. not on Friendster shit. Yeah, I'm like, I didn't know. <laughs> I just, I just kind of winged it and was like, nah. The that's one like year we were, you know, to... that's the last thing you need is another social media outlet, <laughs> right. Shannon. No. I just actually no. do know what Friendster is. It's a joke because it's okay. old. <laughs> <laughs> the one year a bunch of us were able to get into the same game is when we figured out the whole friend thing on the registration, and we right. were able to buy, you, you could buy one ticket for your. One ticket for yourself, an extra for yourself, and then you can buy like one for each one friend. One for each friend in your right. list, right. It was that was the L five R game that Senior uh, Floppy Tits ruined, right? Yes. <laughs> I guess I should say Senorita. Yes. Senorita Floppy Tits? Yes. Uh, yes. That's a beautiful so, name. Don't look at my tits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Jason loved her. <laughs> yes, and see that's the other thing about going to Gen Con? Did yes. No. 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 Is, <laughs> wow. Aside from that. You get to come back with stories. Yes. Yes. Every Gen Con has stories. Yeah. Just flat oh, out. and you know me, I love stories. And it's it, the more active you are, I think with the community and with, you know, doing things and not just going from event to event to event, you end up with more stories. You yeah. know, yep, yep. You know, we've we've kind of gone away from convention gaming, but we do have plenty of stories about that too. 
Uh, and, you know, this year we're going to get uh, Sean to do the foam weapons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> and, you know, we. Because so, last year he wouldn't do the speed dating, which I'm so uh, pissed about. Another, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's another reason to go, Dave, is we need somebody else to do some of our crazy crap. Yeah. <laughs> they have speed dating. Gamers, Gamers speed, speed dating. dating.